greatest fight. Ready. Go. All right, strong matchmaking here. A couple of decorated strikers and both guys DC. They can kick, but they primarily use their hands. They use the hands, man. You're going to see hand speed. You're going to see guys looking for openings in close that will make for a very exciting fight. These two athletes are tremendous, and they're very good at what they do. Well, he caught the kick there, and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, will move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him there. It worked out great. Caught the leg, drove right into his opponent, and put him on his back. Great job landing from the top position. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Big ground and pound. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Briggs. Oh, well, a massive uppercut. That will not feel good tomorrow. There's that body shot. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Huge knee lands from in close. Right now they separate. Hook is there again. Beautiful punch to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He gets to the single collar guy. Look at him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Breeze. Just over three minutes to go. That kick. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Takedown defense is there. Oh, a big head kick there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Just misses there with the left. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Oh, look at that. Gets smacked. He's in. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he connects there. Oh, nice. Takedown defense holds up. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to fight uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Beautiful hook. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and not under the cut, but there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Means his eye now closing up. And a nice
Nice job at least staying upright on that. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a five minutes it was for him. Rocked and stunned his opponent multiple times, and I don't know, did his opponent just say uncle on the stool, or is he going to fight on? I mean, he may say uncle. When you're getting beat and battered and bruised like that, it's a testament to your toughness, but it's not ideal. You want to be competitive. That round was not competitive at all. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do All it. right, round two. Big inside kick. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Liver kick. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Finds a home for that left hook. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Slips. Stuffs that takedown attempt without a shoot. Beautiful right hook counter. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show it. Just over three minutes to go in round two. It got checked. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, Breeze is now dealing with a cheat cut. Gets to the single collar tie. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Breeze. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big power shot there. Well, Breeze's eye is closing up. Slips the punch. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Means. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Oh, he gets hit by a huge strike, and, and now he chooses to be the timer to talk smack. I mean, would you think the guy landing the punch would be the one dancing the taunt? He got hurt again. Oh. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. What a kick. That one landed. 
Not there. Oh, oh he's hurt, he's hurt. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Now some separation from this clutch position. Final seconds of the round. Archer, that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round under the... Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Breeze. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Means. Well, Breeze's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Misses with the right hand. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area at a great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Really anybody's fight here over the final five minutes. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Means has got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. Just gotta be careful here. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. Though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different... Oh! All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything, but the kitchen sink at each other, and it's showing because both of them seem exhausted out there in the middle of the afternoon. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scored it over and over again. Means it's really taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. 
Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't gonna get... An elbow! Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with her here. Effective use of the jab there by Breeze. Nice. Nicely done. Well, Breeze is really bleeding heavily now. You gotta think they might bring in the ringside. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tim the Dirty Bird, Mead.